Developing now, a 52-year-old Portland man drowns in the Sandy River, and tonight family and friends come together to support his family. Berta Subo was fishing with his brother-in-law when he went into the water. He was pulled from the Sandy River near Dabney State Park in Corbett, where he was pronounced dead. Cor Harlan talked with the brother-in-law, who helplessly watched as all this unfolded. Cor is here tonight with more. Well, Ken, this is a tragic story along the Sandy River. A brother-in-law and two to three dozen friends and family spent the evening tonight mourning the loss of the man who was the sole supporter of his wife and children. I'm very sad. And not only me, all my relatives, everyone. I asked Rickadon Ray what happened as he fished with his brother-in-law, Bertha Sabah, in the Sandy River Sunday afternoon. He tells me they fished from shallow water on a gravel shoal when Bertha decided to walk upstream, fell into the river, and then struggled to stay above water as the current carried him downstream. He's like jumping and uh, yelling. I can't, I can't help him. I, I'm helpless because... I can swim. Bertha went under as Rickadon called 911 for help. A couple guys helped the policemen find out the route to the river. Jim Jeffries was at Dabney State Park nearby playing frisbee golf. He came running when he heard there was a man in the water. Jim was the first to get his hands on Bertha and pull him to shore. I grabbed by his underwear and pulled him back. Got him by the arm. The police threw me a line. And that was it. They helped me in. I pulled him to shore. And uh, the world started working on him. I said the Lord's Prayer as I was there, and that's, that was it. Berta never regained consciousness. He was pronounced dead on the shore of the river. He came here from Nepal. Many people outside of his southeast Portland apartment are family, friends, and part of the extended community of Nepalese people living in the Portland area. Rikadon and the others sat inside the apartment tonight, stunned at the loss of 52-year-old Berta, the man who supported a wife and two kids, now suddenly gone. So he was a very popular person in his circle of friends there. As I mentioned, he is, uh, uh, survivors include his wife and two grown children, 18 and 22 years old, and uh, they may well need financial help going forward in their lives. Ken?